Yeah, what else do you want to chat? Ooh! Alright, so this is an iPhone That's a That's Poggers! And a 15 Pro and a 15 Pro Max. Every new phone in the lineup. New colors, new materials, new ports. There's some good stuff to unbox here. I don't care about the last phone chat. Let's do it. So, starting with iPhone 15 and 15 Plus. This iPhone 15 here is the new blue color, and it is Hi, Mr. Cow. flashlight. You can do that, but it's also XQCL. already on everyone's lock screen. Now, you might be thinking, all right, what's so special about this clear case? I've seen a million clear cases. And between the skeleton and MagSafe, there's a bunch of other stuff, but my favorite, personally, is if you've ever owned a clear case before, PVC. you probably know that after a while, it kind of ends up looking like this. Just disgusting and yellow. But Dbrand has promised me that they've specifically engineered the ghost case to be impossible to yellow. Is that, uh, is that the, the beginning? Yeah. When the light hits it from certain Hello, angles, XQC. very safe. Hello, Same chat. stuff in the box I after that, though. The paperwork, the white F Apple sticker, and the new braided USB-C cable. And then our iPhone 15 Pro Max here is the new natural titanium color. There it is, and there it is. I gotta say, guys, I think this is gonna be the one to get. This, it's the best color in person. Bro, in why are his hands so damn fucking big? I can't tell how big the phone is. This guy's hands are fucking nine feet long, and I'll man. I'll talk more about why in a minute, but there you have it. The slightly new unboxing experience on iPhone 15s and 15 Pros. So by the time you see this, I've been testing these phones for about six days now. Not quite enough time for a review by my standards, but still plenty of time to give you some interesting thoughts, some things that I've picked up on, and some quirks. So first of all, these pale colors I don't really know how else to say it. Like, this might be totally fine with you. I always get told everyone's going to put a case on their phone, which they probably are. But hey, Apple did spend a ton of time and money making this new softer touch satin finish on the back. And some of us, some of us will carry our phones around with no case. So it's worth mentioning. For the Pro phones, there's actually an extra layer of interesting, though, because they've switched that rail material, the part that you actually touch on the outside, from shiny stainless steel. Wait, chat, is this skeleton? to brushed titanium. Oh, never mind, it's not. I've heard about how much lighter it is, and it's something like 10% lighter, which is enough for me to notice and it, enjoy. It was but the other fucking thing is, I thought the brushed finish would sort of eliminate fingerprints on the sides. Absolutely not. I was wrong about that. I mean, it's less, it's not as bad as stainless steel, Guys, but I especially thought, I thought on these darker colors, like the black or this blue, you can totally see fingerprints and sort of where your hand Ew. oils are marking up the sides of the phone. And then on top of that, this is not anodized like aluminum might be. This is the new PVD coating they talked about on stage. And it's only been a week here for me. And so I don't know exactly how well this will hold up over time. But what I do know is if you get a scratch deep enough into this coating, it's got to be the natural titanium color underneath, which is very light. And so that might look rough if you, if you drop this phone with no case and get like a big gash on your dark colored phone and have light marks well, on it. Well, that's fucking All dog shit, chat. I do really think that this natural titanium or the light is going to be the better color to get on the pros this year. Okay, some things I've noticed in my first week. Well, that's so fucking all, terrible. On the pro, the bezels are technically a little bit thinner, which makes the buys a little smaller. But you really don't notice that much after a few minutes. What you do notice more actually visually is the slightly <sighs> softer curves all the way around these phones. Seriously, on the 15 and 15 Pro. Because on the 14, it was so square. Like it just went straight to the edge with a yeah. flat display. You know what, and then Chet? dropped right uh, uh, into the rail at 90 degrees. Chet, on these new I'll phones, the edge of the front glass actually has a little bit of curve at the very edges. So it's a... Chat, when you drop the one on, on, on your face, it actually kind of slaps. Softer curve into the rail. I noticed that. Then the rail it itself fucking has softer slaps. curves than the totally sharp corners from last year. So I think it's a nice hybrid of making it just more comfortable in the hand with these curves, right? but still keeping the generally boxy look. Now, with USB-C on these phones, we already learned that you can just plug in a cable behaviors of plug phone. Regardless of the charge state, the USB-C iPhone will always give battery to the Lightning iPhone. Every single time, no matter what. Yo, <laughs> that's actually good though. Wait! Now, if you plug in another USB-C iPhone into your USB-C iPhone, it actually does a handshake where they talk to each other, figure out which one has the lower battery, and then the one with the higher state of charge goes, all That's right, I'm a battery good. Band, and I will start charging the one with the lower state of charge, all the way till you unplug it. So I thought that was pretty interesting, and it works pretty well. Then I decided to try a couple of Android phones and see if the same handshake that happened. blood transfusion. Basically, what we found is... If you plug Chad, that strengthened the bond between two friends like crazy. You have all the problems and you're arguing or whatever. You're like, brother, man, I'm at, I'm at one percent, man. Can you give me a little bit of juice? Clunk. Ah! 
talking into your friend's you feel Android that? phone who has more battery than you, and that phone has USB PD, it will actually that? act like a battery bank. But if the phone doesn't have USB PD, which is a bunch actually Wait. right now, it's pretty inconsistent, and you could end up charging it, or it could end up charging you. Literally unplug and try it again. But if it has USB power delivery, it will actually do the same handshake that the iPhones do. It's only four and a half watts out, so it's not huge. It's not gonna fast charge or anything. But Samsung does that wireless. Wireless charging and all the things that are wet is all shit. It's garbage, it's inefficient, it's not optimized, it's garbage. I don't want to hear about it. But, you know, it is ideal for accessories. You can literally use the cable in the box it's to charge shit. up the new AirPods or whatever else you want to try. But yeah, you, you can rescue another smartphone in a pinch. So then the new action button on the pros. Right. I was very curious about this. I was, I was not sure if it would have some restrictions or if there were some things oh, that it wouldn't let you do. Anyway, what else is it? You what know exactly you? what your location map, post case issue. Uh, it's a lot gotcha. more interesting because there's some genuinely new stuff happening. Visual. I've seen new that, stuff. That's interesting. That's interesting. I like that. I like that. Easy.